Yo, welcome back. Emin here. Um, we are going to be doing a new series on Forza 7. Uh, as you know, I just started playing this game again recently. Um, and my garage is empty. Well, when I say it's empty, I've got the standard cars they give you at the start of the game. Uh, there's quite a few cars, like, in here. But no drift cars. All I've got is this one drift car I made. Uh, which is our, which I've used for the past two or three ep uh, videos. Um, I've got the S15, but that's a B class for my Grip Idiot series. But I haven't got any drift cars other than this one. So I'm going to do the series to just build up my drift car garage. Um, so this will be number two because that was number one. But yeah, we'll do number two, and I'll just make a drift car. Um, I'm going to pick the brand this time, but for the next video, if you guys could comment below on this video what car I should build next episode, um, and then I'll build it, and obviously we'll take it online or something like that in future future videos, etc. So yeah, comment below what you want to see next episode, what car you want to see me drift and build. Well, it'd be quite fun, uh, build up a bit of a, a car garage going on, uh, different cars, etc. So first car I am going to choose, because uh, obviously I haven't got your guys' comments. Yes, we're going to build the Mazda RX-7. This car is such a beautiful car. Like, I was so close to buying one in real life. Uh, probably about five years ago, I was that close. Um, I'm glad I didn't, because their engines are terrible. Well, they're, they're sound, beautiful sounding, beautiful made, but they break pretty much all the time. Uh, but the car's beautiful, uh, so we're going to build one of these. Uh, I'll just buy this and then I'll jump into buying the upgrades. Okay, so as you can see, you can buy a Rocket Bunny, uh, Rocket Bunny body kit. And I'm really tempted, but I am going to go away from it, to be honest. Um, I just don't know why it just... It kind of ruins the RX-7 for me. I know that's crazy to say, but... Because it looks crazy like that. <laughs> that looks nutty. But I don't know, I just feel like the RX-7 has got a nice body shape as it is. It, don't needs to be uh, like widened as such. Um, so yeah, let's start with the appearance, shall we? Let's go. So I want to, I want to kind of keep the shape of the car, uh, but obviously we want to add a little bit extra there. I'll probably say the the Jun is the best one there. Actually, no, the Sea West Defo. Get that uh, rear wing. So we've got the Rocket Bunny, or we've got an adjustable one. I'm gonna go with out. Rear bumper, definitely, definitely this one. I don't know what I've done to the camera, but <laughs> I'm now above the car. Oh, please don't stay like that. Yes, good. So yeah, the car's looking pretty fly here. So let's just kit it out, see west the whole way. There we go. So we got a nice body kit on that. Now what good to be got? I don't know what this paint was, by the way. I just It was probably the best paint that was on there. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I just saw this guy's face up here. I was like, what the hell's going on? I'm kind of tempted by the Sea West again, like the vented one. Yeah, let's go for that. Why not? So there we go. That is the appearance. No, we got wheels, actually. That is not the appearance. So, we are going to go for a multi-piece, I think. Oh my god, whoever it was that commented on the last video saying got dish, oh my god, absolute throwback. Got dish? <laughs> Give him my use to say that. Oh my god. Oh, those wheels look mean on that. Oh, I thought they, they would look good, but they don't. It was these ones, weren't it? Oh, they look mean. Okay, let's buy that. Okay, so that is the appearance done. In terms of tyres, I'm going to go one up on the rear. Well, I'm just doing this blind, by the way. Like, this car might drift so badly, so don't copy it at this very moment. So there are two 5.5s on the, on the rear. Kind of want to go a bit wider. I'll go two 5.5s on the front. Wide as we can, try and get that transition, car well, transitioning quite nice. Uh, last time I went with the street compound. And it seemed to work okay. I don't know what everyone runs, but I'm going to go with the street compound again. 
and that is the tires done. So this car is looking fine, to be fair. Looking nice. So into drivetrain, I'm just going to slap everything race here. Gives us the option to change the, the gears if we need to. Okay, that's that. Platformer handling, pretty much everything in here is going to be race two. Just... Oh, I thought visually it drops the car. I suppose it does, a tiny bit. Oh, you got drift springs and dampers. Why have I not seen that before? I swear I went race last time. Okay, let's go to the drift ones. <laughs> no, that I did do that because I had the extra angle. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, ignore me. Being an idiot, as per usual. Uh, definitely roll cage in this. Oh, that's looking fine. Look at that roll cage in there as well. Damn. Damn. I love RX-7s, man. Okay, so that's everything race in there. And this is where we get onto the engine. Flywheel, I'll just upgrade that because it doesn't add anything spectacular to the horsepower. We're just going to go with the standard ones first, so like race intake. We'll go with race exhaust. Race uh, rotors and compression. Go race into cooler. Race oil and cooling. And I'm kind of tempted to leave it there just with a slight upgrade. That puts us to 512 with this, with the sport turbo. Let's go with that. 512 horsepower in this car is going to be probably too much because uh, this car is so light. <clears throat> so yeah, let's jump into the tune and get this on the track. I'm going to do it probably on Silverstone National because it's the easiest track to just tune the car on. Um, but I'll do a very quick tune to start off with. Uh, that's that. Don't know about gearing yet. I need to drive the car to be honest with you. Like I'm, I might be doing this completely wrong, but I am tuning exactly the same as I was in like Forza, what, what Forza was it? Forza 4 I think I used to play and used to make videos on. Uh, ride height will go all the way down. Well not all the way, let's go to about there. I always like it softer in the rear. Just gives that feel of just like. <laughs> Don't know. Why did I explain it like that? Why? What am I doing to myself? Why? Okay. So let's go to Silverstone. Uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we're in the race. This car's looking mighty fine. Damn. Let's see how it sounds. Oh, rotary engines. If only you were more reliable. Okay, so let's start throwing this into corners and see what happens. Oh, that was very stable around there. I don't know why that was so stable. I have completely misjudged that. <laughs> I was too busy like just looking at the car. I didn't even bother looking at the track. I was just looking at the car. Such a beautiful car, man. Right now, I feel like gear 3 is a bit too long. Actually, no. Gear 3, gear 3 is quite nice, actually. Might just up the tyre pressures, maybe, in the rear. Loosen the grip a tiny bit. Oh, this car sounds crazy. This is a very stable car. Compared to like the S13. Very twitchy in the S13, but in this it's...
that's not the best. But as you know, I have recently came back to the game, so I am quite sloppy with my drifting at the moment. So that's why I'm building up my drift car garage, get online a few times and you know, get better, get back into this. Yeah, I just feel like there needs to be an... I might short on gear 3 just a tiny bit. So I can use gear 2 around there, really. Yeah, the gears definitely need to be shortened. 100%. So, I think I can tune from here, can I? Yeah. So I'm just going to up the tire pressures in the rear tiniest little bit. And let's shorten the gears up. Let's just go to Ford because I'm OCD and I need a round figure. Let's just go there for the moment. See how that goes for a couple of runs. I already bet it feels better. Tires are spinning up so much easier. Oh, this car's nice. It screams. I always go wide there. I need to kind of take that out of my driving. <laughs> but that was a nice run. That felt a lot better. Like a simple change like that. Makes all the difference. In terms of like drifting a car in this game, like you don't need like a specialist tune. You just need to get the car sideways and get the comfortable like points of the car in terms of angle. You can drift any car like any tune, so... This tune might not work for some people, might work for others. Yeah, that was a very poor line then, but this car's feeling very nice, very stable. Enough power, the gearing's feeling so much better. The tires are spinning very easily. Still kind of think like gear three is still a tiny bit too long. But it's performing quite well, so I don't really see the point of changing it. Oh damn. This car, man. This car's crazy, you know? This car is crazy. Wow. I don't think I'm even going to touch any more of that tune. Like, it was so random what I applied to it, but... Why change something when it it works, right? Oh, this car is so smooth. It's so easy to catch the uh, the angle as well. This car's nice. I like this. I'm not going to touch anything else on this car. I'm just going to do a run back at the start. Just make sure everything's Gucci Gucci. And this will be another car added to our garage. I can pull, pull out in lobbies. Whenever I'm feeling like it. So yeah, thank you to everyone that's been on the videos, uh, coming back from the old days. Um, I appreciate every one of you. Uh, it's been a it's been a good comeback so far. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm just enjoying playing the game. Like it's been so long since I played a racing game, and I know that's bad to say, but I just kind of went into that place where it was just me playing like Call of Duty and all these sort of. Um, what they call battle royale sort of games like Fortnite and even games like uh yeah like Warzone. I kind of just got into that just playing with friends. So I, that's brilliant, like don't get me wrong. But I, I missed this part of Forza, like this oh like, how did I not have a car game? Oh and also, does anyone want to see me pick up uh Forza Horizon 4? I know that's quite far through the game cycle too. Uh, but it seems like there's a bit more 
activity on that game, a bit more like sort of people viewing it and liking that game a bit more. Um, so if you want to see that, let me know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tune. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And this is another car to go into the garage. So, oh yeah, and leave your comments about what car you want me to do next episode. So yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. See you later.